Coming up next on the Real Footage Show, we are discussing a Golden Age television classic, The Donna Reed Show. Stay tuned. It's Variety, the Real Footage Show, 10 Davis. Hello, I'm Tim Davis, and welcome to The Real Footage Show and the beginning of our brand new 400 series. Today we're going to be talking about a television program from the golden days of television, The Donna Reed Show, which originally debuted on the ABC Television Network in September of 1958, and for eight consecutive seasons ran until March of 1966. Over the course of those eight years on the air, the program made a total of 275 episodes. And throughout the course of those 275 episodes, the program featured many memorable classic TV moments, as well as special appearances from many classic TV guest stars. The main cast of characters of the Donna Reed Show featured Donna Stone, played by Donna Reed, mother and sometimes nurse at the Hilldale Hospital, Alex Stone, played by Carl Betts, father and pediatrician, Mary Stone, daughter in the family, played by Shelley Fabre. Jeff Stone, son in the family, played by Paul Peterson. The program is classic for many different reasons, and in this edition of The Real Footage Show, we're going to talk about its legacy, its classic moments, and much, much more. So, stay tuned. For myself, the program, I was first introduced to the show uh, when I first seen it for the very first time in the mid to late 1980s when it was airing on Nick at Night, the cable TV network. And I fell in love with the the setting of the show, as well as the characters, especially the characters. There's something about the Stone family uh, that really uh, brings about uh, quintessential classic television. And the show did it in many different ways. Um, I fell in love with it instantly after that, and continued to enjoy the show throughout the 1990s. The show debuted on Nick and I, and was one of the network's very first original uh, shows to begin the original lineup on the network. It lasted on the network from the beginning of 1985 until the spring of 1994. It later moved to TV land for a short, brief period of time in uh, the early 2000s and is now currently in 2015 as of the, uh, the uh, creation of this video uh, airing on MeTV Network. Uh, the, the program is, is classic in many different ways. It, it, it just it features um, heartwarming stories. Uh, the characters are unforgettable. And the amount of uh, guest stars that the show featured throughout its eight seasons on the air is incredible as well. I have a, a small list here of uh, uh, some of the ones I, I wrote down. Uh, Buster Keaton, Estelle Winwood, Esther Williams, James Darren, Willie Mays, Leslie Gore, uh, uh, even the classic TV iconic dog, Lassie, was also featured in one of the Hollywood episodes of the third season. Uh, other classic guest stars included on the program, George Hamilton and Charles Lane. So many to mention, and what very few time we have here. Um, it, it's, it's amazing the amount of talent that could be featured on television shows. Not only the Donna Reed show, but on many shows. Uh, a lot of people seem to take that for granted. Uh, but as we really look back on a lot of shows uh, like this one, it, it's amazing the talent that was involved in creating such good episodes. Um, th the program is indeed a classic. The fourth season of The Donna Reed Show, we began to see the youngest cast members, Shelley Fabre and Paul Peterson, begin to release uh, hit singles and begin to sing them within the program. Uh, this being the case in a season four episode when Shelley Fabre, Mary Stone, sings her pop hit tune, uh, Johnny Angel, which became a worldwide hit. Uh, it was featured in one of the season four episodes titled Donna's Prima Donna. Later on in the show's fifth season, Jeff Stone, played by Paul Peterson, also had another hit song, My Dad, which was featured in a season five episode titled My Dad. Uh, not only these two songs, but a long list of other hits uh, from uh, both the uh, of the actors. Um, they had records out and and really uh, brought a sense of nostalgia, especially into the early 60s in that time period of television. Uh, really showed um, the uh, creativity and the uniqueness of incorporating uh, music into uh, television programs. And it they did a very fantastic job at that. Uh, of of uh, 
putting that into each of those programs. Beginning in the show's fifth season, uh, the cast changes began to be made uh, within the Donna Reed show. And uh, that being of uh, the character of Mary Stone went off to college. Shelley Fabre left the program. And Paul Peterson's real-life sister, Patty Peterson, joined the cast as Trisha. Trisha was introduced uh, midway into the season as a runaway orphan, which the Stones discovered at a local park and she was later adopted by the stone family trisha stayed on for the remaining seasons of the program throughout until the end of its eighth season uh also uh throughout the show's later seasons beginning within the sixth and uh, seventh seasons um more characters were brought on in the show like bob crane uh famous for his role on the television program hogan's heroes and another cast change, Anne McRae as well, also joined the cast. Bob Crane uh, played the part of Dr. Dave Kelsey on the Donna Reed Show. And his wife, Midge, was played by Anne McRae. The program uh, featured a uh, different style of storylines during the show's later seasons with these newer characters uh, that were introduced into the program. Prior to 2008, the Donna Reed Show was seen on cable TV networks, but was not released onto DVD. But in 2008, the program finally became available to fans on DVD format, thanks to the real-life daughter of Donna Reed, Mary Owen. Mary Owen made available to the public for the first time ever the very first season in 2008, soon followed by seasons 2, 3, 4, and 5. Currently, as of the production of this video segment in September of 2015, the show's later seasons, seasons 6, 7, and 8, are currently not available on DVD. Those seasons are owned by Sony Pictures Entertainment, and the only way to see them one day on DVD is to show Sony Studios that there is support for the program and that people would really like to, uh, to see those later episodes on DVD as well. MPI Home Video has released Seasons 4 and 5 of the Donna Reed Show on DVD, as well as reissuing Seasons 1 through 3. These are some of the examples of those season sets. This happens to be Season 4 of the Donna Reed Show, and this is Season 5 of the Donna Reed Show. MPI Home Video has done a, an excellent job in uh, releasing these sets. And again, we'd like to thank them, the people who work behind the scenes releasing them. And again, special thanks to Mary Owen, the daughter of Donna Reed. In the early 2000s, the program was, uh, believe it or not, on DVD. But only two uh, seems to be hand-selected episodes from the show's eighth season. Now, these are not entire seasons. These are just... Uh, a few episodes, uh, but they actually were available to whoever was lucky enough to have found them or to have purchased uh, this DVD at the time. According to the DVD in 2003, uh, or the early 2000s, General Mills Serials and Sony Pictures Television uh, began to release some DVDs of television programs within specially marked boxes of serials. Among the shows released were The Donna Reed Show, The King of Queens, Barney Miller, and Mad About You. It's interesting that The Donna Reed Show was included among a list of so many shows that could have been uh, chosen uh, through the Sony Pictures Television Library. But uh, I'm not complaining, but I am saying I am overjoyed the fact that they actually decided to pick a show like The Donna Reed Show among the shows that they chose for these serial DVD releases. Both the shows are just random episodes chosen from the uh, season or from the program's eighth season, and uh, titled Flo Four on the Floor" and "No More Parties." Very interesting concept. Uh, something you don't see much of today. I remember when this was actually uh, available in stores, and for some reason, which I'm not sure why, I never purchased the original DVD when it was available in stores and the cereal boxes. It might have been from the fact that I never came across the Donna Reed Show DVD and I was coming across the other ones that wasn't interested in them at, at that time. But I later discovered that they released the Donna Reed Show DVD with the two episodes and then searched for it and was able to, found, to find one like this uh, on the internet. 
If you do some searching, you could find this exact same DVD online. It might take a little while to come across it, but you'll find it. But, or maybe you were lucky enough uh, to have purchased this when it originally was available uh, way back when through General Mills and Sony Pictures. So nowadays, um, it seems like more and more shows are being released onto DVD. But it's very important that you show support for these programs because without the support, the companies don't know if the fans are serious enough to want to purchase whole season sets of television shows. And that is what we are trying to do uh, on various fan pages all over on Facebook and uh, all over the Internet. Uh, it does work. I have been uh, dealing with many shows that we thought would never see uh, the light of day to be released on DVD and they actually were released at one time or another so there is hope for all shows that yet have still been released on DVD now there is a page on Facebook titled we love the Donna Reed show it is a fan page uh, which features um, many classic moments from the show in photos and videos there's many good people on the page who adore the program including myself and it, it's uh, it's it's a spectacular place to share everything Donna Reed Show related. Um, you meet some good people on there who enjoy not only the Donna Reed Show, but classic television in general. And if you would like to be part of it, or are part of it, you know what I'm talking about, but if you'd like to be part of it, and you're on Facebook, just type in, We Love the Donna Reed Show in the search box on Facebook, and like the page, and you will receive all the notifications from all the wonderful people who enjoy everything Donna Reed Show related on that page. Some of my personal favorite episodes of the Donna Reed Show would have to be the Christmas episode in Season 1 titled A Very Merry Christmas, which features a special appearance by Buster Keaton, which does some amazing uh, comedy in that episode. In Season 2, Just a Housewife, and another episode titled Pickles for Charity, which we're introduced to Mother Stone's uh, famous pickles. The Chinese Horse, which is more of a... The Chinese Horse episode is more like an Alfred Hitchcock Presents episode uh, rather than a sitcom because it incorporates more suspense than anything in it. I've never seen an episode of a sitcom uh, like that before. So it, it's very interested, interesting. If you have never seen that episode, uh, be sure to. Uh, another favorite of mine in the show's uh, third season is when the Stone family goes to Hollywood and the Stones go to Hollywood which they also get to meet the iconic TV dog Lassie uh, later on in that episode. In season four, I enjoy the episode titled Mouse at Play, uh, where Donna dyes her hair a different color, which also features a special appearance by Cloris Leachman. I also enjoy the episode in season four, in which Mary Stone, played by Shelley Fabre, sings her hit song, Johnny Angel, in the episode titled Donna's Prima Donna. In Season 5, a classic episode of mine that I enjoy uh, in that season would be the episode where Paul Peterson, uh, Jeff Stone, sings the song My Dad in the episode titled My Dad. That episode in Season 5, if, if you don't get through that without a, a few tears in your eye, then I, I'm not sure. But uh, I don't think I ever make it through that episode without getting a, a little teary-eyed. It, it's very... Very heartwarming, very touching, and uh, very, um, very uh, heartfelt. It's also interesting to see in Season 5 when the character of Trisha, played by Paul Peterson's real-life sister, Patty Peterson, is introduced to the cast as well. Um, and within Season 5 and, and to, the, to the end of Season 5, uh, we get to see uh, more fun. Uh, but but those are some of my most favorite episodes throughout the first five seasons of the show, and it's it's very fun to uh, recollect on them. In conclusion of this edition of the Real Footage Show, we would like to share some more fun facts with you about the Donna Reed Show. The program, throughout its eight years on the air, was produced by the real life husband of Donna Reed, which was Tony Owen. Principal sponsors for the program throughout the show's eight-season run was that of the Campbell Soup Company, Johnson & Johnson, and the Singer Company. Daryl Richard became a regular in the program during the show's later seasons. He would play 
the character of Smitty as Jeff's best buddy. And the show's opening theme throughout the course of its run was that of Happy Days, which had different variances over the years. If you enjoyed this edition of The Real Footage Show, then you will enjoy others just like it by visiting my YouTube channel. On the right-hand bottom corner of the screen of this video, there is a Tim D TV Network logo. Click on it, and you will be directed to my YouTube channel where you can see more videos just like this. And if you would like to share more Classic TV fun with me, you could add me as a friend on Facebook, and we could share more Classic TV fun together. Until next time, this has been another edition of The Real Footage Show. I'm Tim Davis. Thank you for watching.